you know, yes, it's been a while and I'm glad to be back. I've been very busy lately. This video is going to be short and to the point. It's the whole narrative that surrounds Black Lives Matter. And I was asked, I was asked a question. What does Black Lives Matter represent? And do I know? And I'm going to tell you exactly what Black Lives Matter really represents. I'll put it to you in the words of uh, the Washington Times reporter, Roland C. Warren, who said he was shocked being a black man that the Black Lives Matter movement boasted that it was launched due to the killing of, of, of black men by police most notably Trayvon Martin and Mike Brown And he said, you would expect when you went to the uh, BLM Black Lives Matter website that you would see it choked, choked down with, with, with support of, of uh, uh, um, young black boys and black men, encouraging them and supporting different movements. And, 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 but he was shocked to see that <clears throat> out of blacklivesmatter.com dot com it does not mention black men at all not one iota on the entire site I'm going to read to you exactly what Black Lives Matter does support an alternative lifestyle the PLM says Black Lives Matter says we are committed to build a black woman affirming space free from sexism, misogyny, and male-centeredness. We are committed to disrupting the Western prescri prescribed nuclear family structure. Can you do Western prescribed nuclear family structure? Hello, it takes a man and a woman to make a child. Hello, that's not rocket science, you know. Western prescribed nuclear family structure requirement by supporting each other as extended families and villages that collectively care for one another and especially our children to the to the degree that the mothers it I don't think there's any need to go on this whole matter they use these dead guys who were killed and similar a lot of them I can't just go on and only mention names I, I in a sense Yes, I understand what Black Lives Matter is doing, and I agree to an extent, but there I get off the train. I, I, I'm, I don't want to use, uh, 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 as so to speak, as martyrs Trayvon Martin or Philando Castile to promote an alternative lifestyle, because I have, if the group has supported black men and black boys, you will see it mentioned on the website, but not one mention of men, black men, or boys on the website. Like I said, I, whatever a person want to do, that's their prerogative. You want to do the same thing, but the movement was started by uh, two lesbian women, which is that's their alter, that's their prerogative, and one, one uh, heterosexual, I believe, black woman. But they put black women and black two black men, a few black men in front. That's supposed to be straight. But the thing, what's most horrifying and hypocritical of this movement? It came out the other day that while most people were looking at Chicago black on black violence and murder, that they totally forgot Omaha, Nebraska. And they said in this article from a couple of years ago that Omaha, Nebraska was the most dangerous place for a black person to live. I thought that was, a, you know, amazing. 
why don't we get together and march up and down in Chicago, Detroit, Columbia, South Carolina, and Omaha, Nebraska. And yes, Los Angeles, California. We have to stop the hypocrisy. And yes, we do need God first. Because in Black Lives Matter, you forgot one thing. You know you're supporting a, a, a space for black women. It's already been done. From 1965, the rate of single uh, the rate of African American children born in a, a single parent household has is, is tripled almost. It went from 71% in 1965 to 75% of all African American children are born in a single parent household. I agree with what the lady said on Dr. Boyce Whitekin's website in the video. It sounds like a secret narrative set up by George Soros to uh, a war on black men. It's hypocritical and it's a it's 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 terrible. It's just not right. How on earth can you say you support uh, um, out there supporting that all people are equal in in Black Lives Matter and and you're talking about uh, um, standing up for justice for Black Lives Matter when you don't support black men on your show, no support on your website for black men or boys. And it's a proven fact that children, especially boys growing up without a father, have a more than quadruple rate of getting into all kind of crimes and prison sentences. I mean, you, that's not even rocket science. You just watch that over the course of a few decades yourself. Just look at the black community. Babies and elderly people getting shot down. We need God now. That's what we need. You have to stop being hypocrites and phonies. What are you what on earth do you think you're trying to hide? What is this hypocrisy? It's the white man. No, it's not the white man. It's you. How do you expect to get respect from other races of people if you get so if everybody if the elderly people and children black in their own communities are, are neighbors are scared to walk down the street. They just said a five-year-old black girl was shot down. Come on, uh, uh, Black Lives Matter, come on now. Just like Bernie Sanders, you helped destroy Bernie Sanders a chance to be elected. Hillary Clinton, really? Let's, let's face a fact. If President Obama the first, whichever you call African American president, the first black president of the United States was in office for eight years and he didn't do anything for black people. What the hell are you thinking? What in the name of God, you th goodness, you think Hillary Clinton's going to do? Nothing. Just the same thing she did the first time. Throw you right underneath the bus. Do you understand this? This is hypocrisy. Let's get out there. All right, BLM, let's go to Chicago. You have chapters all over. Let's go to Chicago. Let's go to Detroit and march on this killing. 90% of all black people we know are killed by other blacks. We know that 83% of all white people are killed by other white. But the thing is, we're only 14% of the population. Most black people right now are impoverished. In some communities, not only black, uh, young black, uh, young black teenagers, but black men have uh, over a 54% unemployment rate. You have some communities, and black communities, our neighbors have a 80% poverty rate. And you're being replaced all over America by the same people you want to vote for, the Clintons, who've done more damage to you than the last three Republican presidents combined. There wasn't a Republican that would pass the laws to lock you up at double the rate. That was Clinton who did that. Come on now. This is a shame and a disgrace. Hope I'm not putting you to sleep. But this hypocrisy has to stop now. You can't expect anybody to respect you. If you're too busy slaughtering each other in the street, let's blame the white man. Why don't you support young black boys and black men? 
Get them off these corners. Get them out of these gangs. Let's march up and down and stop the violence in these black communities. I wanted to read something to you. I want to read something to you. And I'm going to go to take a quick minute. I have a whole thing here I will go to read. People need to go to the site and see what blacklivesmatter.com, what it says. You support uh, the trans agenda, the black woman's agenda, the lesbian agenda, or the entire web, but you don't have anything for men, especially the ones who need it the most, black boys, young black boys, and black men. Come on now. Come on now, we've got to do better than this. This is, this is just hypocrisy and madness. This has to be stopped. Look, in America, we are in trouble. It's not only, it's just the black, the white too are also, they're being uh, uh, replaced too. Look at the demographics and which race is growing. The, the, the nation's top earners are Asians. It's not even white. Most politicians are full of crap as a constipated elephant and all they're doing is using the American public and turning them against each other. America need to, come, need to go to turn to God. We all need to turn to God and repent. Pray folks. Pray for our people and pray for this nation. We need it.